It's the start of the holy month of Ramadan this week, and there seems no end in sight to the ongoing conflict between Israeli defense forces and Hamas. But even then, the present economic difficulty and living conditions in the Gaza Strip, along with the fighting, will make this the most difficult Ramadan ever. Stores in southern Gaza's crowded city of Rafah were seen overwhelmed on Saturday. Dozens of citizens were seen walking around the street markets in search of goods to purchase. For residents in Jerusalem, there is a ban on Ramadan decorations in the old city, issued in solidarity with Gaza amid the ongoing conflict. One religious vocalist who worked as a Muezzin for 43 years says he suspended all religious events he's had to participate in, including ones overseas because of the situation happening in Gaza. Meanwhile, calls are growing for an end to the war, with protests growing around the world. Tens of thousands of people march through the streets of London on Saturday during a pro-Palestine demonstration. They walked with Palestinian flags, banners and signs criticizing the West and Israel. Organizers claim at least 400,000 people took part in the demonstration. On Sunday, thousands of pro-Palestine supporters joined a rally in Berlin to demand a ceasefire in Gaza, as well as an immediate cessation of arms supplies in Israel amid the ongoing conflict. It's been six months of fighting in the Israel-Hamas war, and there are no signs of letting up. Israel's current ground incursion, which began at the end of the third week of the war, intends to wipe out all of Hamas. While aid has been delivered by airdrop, the conflict has created a growing humanitarian crisis, a UN still warning at least 576,000 people across the Gaza Strip, one quarter of the population, are facing catastrophic levels of food insecurity.